And the North Texas athlete ready to take over when these Olympics close. We should at least medal. That's the, I just want something big and shiny. The inspiration behind this basketball star's quest for success at the Rio Paralympics. Yep, yep, I'm going, I'm going. You're watching NBC5 News at 10. Plus, getting ready for another shot at Paralympic glory. The wheelchair isn't who we are, it's just our story and how we got to this point. Meet the North Texas athlete who wants to win it all for her parents. For most Olympic athletes, there are countless people behind the scenes who help them be their best. And for one local athlete, those people are her parents. She is dedicating her upcoming Rio Paralympic competition to her mom and her dad. NBC 5's Kristen Dickerson met up with this student athlete on the campus of UT Arlington. The tighter the straps, the easier it is to become one with her chair. Shot! to dominate wheelchair basketball. I guess I like going fast and hitting people, banging chairs and stuff. <laughs> That's my favorite part. <laughs> yep, yep, I'm going, I'm going. Rose Hollerman is getting ready for her second Paralympic Games. We should at least medal. That's the, I just want something big and shiny. Nice, Jimmy. Off the court, the future elementary school teacher is super friendly, but on the court. Yep, yep, I'm going, I'm going. She is fierce and good at this. Teammate Darlene Hunter. I'm really excited to watch for even 2020 when she's going to be probably the best in the world. She said Rose's speed and physicality make her unstoppable, even when her competitor's wheel accidentally yeah, I'm fine. flips her chair. It doesn't even oh, phase her. She credits her competitive spirit and work ethic to her mom and dad. I mean, my parents mean everything to me. My whole family does back in Minnesota. They're like the thing that I'm competing for in Rio and the thing that I think about when I'm going into train is my parents and my family back home. She started playing wheelchair basketball at just seven years old, two years after a car accident limited her ability to walk and took the lives of her two older brothers. I lost two brothers in it, so that would be something that I would take back. But I think my disability was a blessing to me. It was something I don't know if I would be in college right now if it weren't for my disability. I don't know. I for sure wouldn't be competing at the level I am right now if it weren't for that because it's been a really big motivator throughout my entire life. Hey, see, Poppy. In high wait, wait, wait. school, she earned a basketball scholarship to UT Arlington. This signing day was a celebration of more than a decade of work. Like every day my dad would be like, we have to go shoot, you have to go lift, you have to go push. My mom would be driving me in to go lift with some trainers that she would get me or like would make me go push on the trails or just like everything to make sure that I was working as hard as I needed to be. And it's thanks to my parents that I learned that and that I'm doing that because of them. Her hard work continued at UTA, helping the Lady Movin' Mavs win a national championship. I see you turned our, turned our. Now her sights are set on Rio, backed with a lifetime of love and support from her parents. If you win a gold medal, what will that mean to you? I mean, if I were to win a gold medal, I would just, like give it to my parents because I think like they're what it means to me. And by the way, the Paralympic Games begin in Rio September 7th. So it takes them a little while to break it down and they start the Paralympics.